the show tonight, we have the stars of the new Bond film, Spectre. But I'm a bit uh, tied up. I need someone to come and save me. I wish they'd, I wish they'd hurry up and save me because I, I do How are you doing, Graham? I'm good! Uh, little, little help here, please. Is that the time? You've lost weight. And Daniel, uh, uh, let's start the show! <laughs> it's a big deal. It's a big deal. It is a big deal, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Soon you'll be free of all this. Yeah. <laughs> you'll never hear that music again. You think? No, no, in fact, no, yeah, no. for the rest of your life, yeah. you will hear that music. Yeah. I mean, how many times have you geared up for this? I was, I was saying to the audience before that we, st we, we were supposed to do this show in March 2020. Yeah. Uh, how many times did you get ready for a premiere since then? Um, I think we did. That's mainly what we did. I mean, we, had, we closed down Times Square, didn't we? And had a yeah. whole thing there going on. And sure. There was so much like we were ready to go and then nothing. Because, you know... Yeah, well, yeah things some, happened. Some things happened, yeah. <laughs> um, but, listen, it's, we're, we're in a... A, a brilliant position now. We're, we're ready to go. We're going to release this, and I've always got to. I've got to thank Universal and, and MGM for this having the nuts, holding their nerve. Yeah. Because it's been really a struggle. But we've, we're going to get it in the cinemas. I mean, it would have been a tragedy if this had gone to uh, into onto streaming. And I think the timing's great because, like, you see this audience here. Mm. You know, they're happy to be here and mm. sit with each other. Or da, so they will be in cinemas. They are going to see your movie. <laughs> so. You haven't spoken to them. They might not be. Literally. In yeah. <laughs> <laughs> James like Bond this? special. <laughs> 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 Didn't that come out already? <laughs> <laughs> and let's do bonsoir, bienvenue. Bonsoir, au, merci. Au mm. Ooh. And, uh, it strikes me, you know, because you grew up in France, was, was James Bond as iconic there? Like, were your family very excited when they found out you were going to be part of the Bond world? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they're in the audience. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> they don't really know about James Bond. Do you really? Yeah. Did you not know about James Bond? No. Okay. <laughs> this is you do now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, no, but actually, when you say that, Lashana, had you seen any Bond films before you became part of the world? I think my dad keeps reminding me that we watched it together when I was like one and two. Oh, well. Which I obviously don't remember. Daniel, I mean, he wasn't in them then, was he? No. <laughs> Daniel! Oh. Daniel! Just because this is the last time we're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> It'll turn into a Daniel Craig roast. No problem. Nearly. So you watched the, you watched the very old Bond films back then. When I was younger, <laughs> yeah. and then when I was cast, <laughs> 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 when I was cast, I, I actually watched from Doctor No onwards. Ah. Throughout oh, wow. the Did you watch the more? Wow. Yeah. Wow. How much Shakespeare is? constantly in your head? How much Shakespeare well, do you carry around? It is all of us, of course. We don't, we, you know, we don't realise, Graham, as you know, we quote Shakespeare all the time, perhaps without knowing it. But, I mean, also, you only have to go to those plays and, and be in any kind of those situations, being in love or being jealous or being angry or being whatever, and you will find that he... It, there is a way of him summing up that is completely sufficient for, for, for what your emotion is. Yeah. What passage is on your mind now, Graham? Well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it was just on the tip of your tongue. How, <laughs> how all occasions do inform against me. Whoa! You white hole. Good. Good. <laughs> good. Show me the card. Show me the card. <laughs> 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 Don't know where that came from. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Big Judy. Um, uh, uh, if, I mean, if I poke you with a stick, can you just do a bit of Shakespeare for us? If you, if you what, with a stick? <laughs> <laughs> if I touch poke you, you with a stick? Touch you <laughs> gently. If I touch you gently with a stick, could you do a little bit for us? Like what? I, I don't know, like a, a bit of a play or a sonnet? Or a sonnet, a sonnet. A sonnet? I'll do a sonnet. It's like you're having a Shakespeare jukebox yeah. in the house. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, um... When in disgrace with fortune and men's eyes, I all alone beweep my outcast state, and trouble death heaven with my bootless cries, and look upon myself and curse my fate, 
wishing me like to one more rich in hope, featured like him, like him with friends possessed, desiring this man's art and that man's scope, with what I most enjoy contented least, yet in these thoughts myself almost despising, happily I think on thee. And then my state, like to the lark at break of day arising from sullen earth, sings hymns at heaven's gate. For thy sweet love remembered, such wealth brings, that then I scorn to change my state with kings. There. Wow. Really, it's gorgeous. Unbelievable. I don't know. Unbelievable. I mean, there's just more dialogue than I had in all my movies all together. <laughs> Could you now do I'll Be Back? Because <laughs> <laughs> it was so long. How much of this film do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm so old. But... <laughs> <laughs> Have a B, Daniel. Have a B. Have a B. Have a B. Have you been? Um, <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, vaults. Correct. Yeah. Oh, good. Uh, not wrong, at least. <laughs> it can be tricky. This. I aim that high. Uh, have you been on a British talk show before? Um, um, I might have, but uh, if I had, then I forgot. OK, you <laughs> blanked it from your mind. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Naomi Harris, great to have you on the show. And what's interesting about you is actually you take such a kind of variety mm -hmm. of roles, so people may not even know uh, that they enjoyed you in Pirates of the Caribbean. Because uh, this, that's you, uh, which is quite a strong look. It's a very strong look. <laughs> I tried to actually rock that look very unsuccessfully, actually. The, like, black lipstick, the dreadlocks. <laughs> it's not good in real life. No. <laughs> Where did you try to rock that look? Just out on a Friday <laughs> night. You know, as you do. Yeah, who's she? <laughs> She's been watching Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the odd thing about when you're making a movie like this, uh, Daniel, you do hurt yourself a lot. Like in, yes. in, the, in the previous ones, what's happened to you? Um, I've had my right shoulder reconstructed. I have had uh, this left knee operated on, my right knee operated on. Um, my thumb hurts. <laughs> Dry scalp. A lot. And <laughs> <laughs> cheek crotch. <laughs> it's very difficult. <laughs> You get to do all the action and running around. And Naomi, now last time you did. You 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 trained, you were out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've got a shot of you giving it your all. Here you are. Look at that. That's great. <laughs> she cares. <laughs> I think Naomi cares a lot more than that lady does. <laughs> <laughs> does she even know she's in it? She looks like, why are they filming me shopping? <laughs> I don't think she's in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> didn't you have a thing when you were you were doing action stunts with a was that an extra when you were doing the driving? I was, yeah, I had to drive into a crowd of people and everybody, all the extras, were supposed to, like, part like a C for the car, as you would do for a moving vehicle coming in your direction. And one extra decided to just be a kamikaze and just, like, dive in front of the car. So I, I almost ran him over, which was absolutely terrifying. Was that a money-making scheme on his part? <laughs> <laughs> what scheme? I don't know what was going through his head, but... No, I didn't hit him, because I have very good very reflex. Very good driving skills. Yeah. Yes. I, I can attest to that. Yeah. <laughs> Christoph, you weren't injured in this film. Not on this one, no. No, no, because, yes. I'm trying to think. You, yes. But you have been injured on this film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, well, you know, you get injured as you go along. Of course you do. What? Mostly psychologically. <laughs> Was it Django and Chain you to ride a horse? Are you a natural horseman? Um, oh, I think I'm more naturally a horse than a horseman. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Hello. OK. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> now, Daniel, in terms of being offered the part of Bond, mm -hmm. you were quite reluctant, I think, to say yes. I was very reluctant. I couldn't quite understand why I was being asked. That was really... It was off my radar, really. I, I, I mean, Barbara Broccoli 
approached me uh, to play it and um, I said, you're interested? I said, well, thank you very much. It's very nice, but I think you've got the wrong guy. Um, but she was quite persistent. Because it's not like saying yes to anything else. I mean, if you walk into a village in Timbuktu, someone will go, James Bond. Then I have. At... <laughs> <laughs> what does that do to your head? I mean... Um, it's, it's quite disconcerting at first, but I, I, I kind of enjoy it now. I think that I, I, I'm, I'm enjoying making the films and it's sort of they're part of my life and it's, it, it's an honour. It's, it's a real honour to sort of, sort of to, to do it. So I, I kind of take, I, I, I take it and enjoy it. Uh, I can't, there are places I can't go to, but I, you know, I live in New York and London and people have got more important things to do. They don't really care. That, yeah. You know, they just go, oh, that's James Bond. James Bond. Yeah. James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> and do you have to audition for Bond? Uh, yeah, I had to do a full day screen test. Well, it was supposed to be a full day, and halfway through the day I went, sod this, I'm not doing any more, and walked off. But, I mean, that was... Uh, well, I mean, I'd sort of done enough... One of the things you have to do is you have to do a scene from, from Russia with love. Uh, you know the scene where he comes in... I, I don't even remember it. He comes to the room and uh, Tatiana, whatever her name, is lying naked in bed, and there's a sort of scene about, you know, like, is that your gun? No, oh, no, okay, no, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they're filming it from behind. Um, so I, I, I did that, and then I had to take my shirt off for some reason, but I'm not quite sure what Odd that was about. <laughs> <laughs> was that the end of the day? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so. Did you have to do stunt? Did you have to do a forward roll and stuff? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did he really make you do things? Handstand. <laughs> <laughs> In terms of auditions, uh, I guess what's nice is you're auditioning for a really great job. In the beginning, you had to do terrible, like, commercials oh, and stuff. Oh, you must have done those, though. They're, yeah, they're I terrible. Mean, that's, I mean, it's part of... Uh, there, was a, there was a short period, my agent's here tonight, she used to put me up for commercials and she gave up. Because I'd, I'd, I'd go along to these things and they'd, sort of, they'd say things like, OK, I want you to pretend to mow the lawn. <laughs> it's, for, it's, for, it's for coffee. And we want you to be so happy dancing to um, you're walking on sunshine by Katrina in the waves. Go, and I got to go. It's walking on sunshine. <laughs> and that would I could never I could never. You know. Well, a little bird tells me you still yeah. know all the moves. <laughs> You've done voice work in animation. Only once. Oh, which one? Um, don't ask me. <laughs> Don't ask me. About cows. For, for six points. About cows. <laughs> what is it called? Home on the Range. Yes, Home on the Range. Yes. <laughs> home on the Range. Oh, yeah. Which one are you? Do you oh, know? don't ask me. Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Calloway, was I? I don't know. There's I don't either. We have three on offer. I don't think I... Yes. <laughs> you, one of them. One of them. One you were one of them, and you were excellent. <laughs> People talk of it still. <laughs> we... we, we it, w it came out before I had to go to Hollywood because of a nomination for the Oscars. And it was, it was when Brokeback Mountain came out. Oh. And there was a great... Um, a lot of people walking up and down very, very cross with placards. And our car was stopped. And this man came up very, very angry, banging on the door window with a placard saying, Homo on the range. <laughs> and I the window. I said, this is about... This is about cows! <laughs> Javier! Pronounced correctly? Yes. But, um, uh, <laughs> now, listen, Silva is a fantastic villain. Really, really good villain. And I think what I liked about him much, he's kind of a righteous villain, in that he, he believes he is right on his side. Is, is that what makes him a, a, more than a villain, in a way? I think he's more reliable in the sense that, uh, rather than being a person who wants to destroy the world just because he has a very personal uh, goal to achieve, and uh, he proceeds with a lot of clarity on it. Yeah. And uh, I guess that's more re reliable. Uh, it was for me as an actor, because I could understand better what, what was behind that. But even in the audience, like, you sort of think, well, he's got a point. <laughs> you know, it's... It, yeah. And there's a, a, a brilliant sort of erotically charged scene between Silva and James Bond. Was that the way it was written, or did you just kind of decide to do it like that? No, it was written like that. It was written like that, and then he, we he didn't encourage it, it though. <laughs> <laughs> he found the flames. <laughs> and we, yeah, we play with it, and, and we we had fun with it. I mean, it's, uh... <laughs> no, they really do play with it and have fun with it. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, you you're quite the heartthrob. The ladies, you know, the ladies are very keen. Yeah, <laughs> Marjorie's gagging. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Marjorie can't say enough about you. She really can't. <laughs> now, um... <laughs> 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 <laughs>
But even Marjorie might be put off sometimes by... Uh, sometimes you don't do something with your hair. Some of the hair... Style, like in this, you're, you've gone blonde in Skyfall, but your classic bad hair, it won you an Oscar in No Country for Old Men. Now, I always assumed that was a... <laughs> it is genius. <laughs> I always thought it was a wig, but it wasn't a wig. No, it wasn't a wig, unfortunately not. <laughs> I had to live with that for two months in Santa Fe. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and, and, and no matter what I did with it, it will always stay that shape. So when I went to buy something on the supermarket, everybody will freak out. For a <laughs> and didn't you have to wear a hairnet all the time? Yeah, I had to wear a hairnet. <laughs> and then, it, yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> to put the thing on place. <laughs> and then the last day of shooting, I, I went to shoot and I have to take an elevator to go to the first floor of a building where we were shooting, and the elevator opens and everybody on the crew were uh, wearing... Uh, <laughs> yeah. And the, the Coen brothers were right there in front of me with their, with a the thing. Was it the hernet? The hernet, yeah. Hernet, yeah. And, no, I, and then I realized, like, that's scary. It is scary. Because you were so scary in that film. It's, it's freaky. How... That's what they pay me for. <laughs> You're such yes. a nice boy. You are. You seem charming. Because, <laughs> um, uh, now, Daniel, some people, you know, they don't like looking at old pictures of themselves, but there are some quite good hair shots of you from the past. <laughs> uh, oh, don't get upset. I'm but not he, upset. He, here's a lovely picture of you and Alex Kingston in Moll Flanders. That's... <laughs> it's all my own hair. It, actually, it looks like you're sharing the wig. <laughs> <laughs> it, like you're... <laughs> it wasn't the budget for two. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make Javier feel better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this one is incredible. <laughs> the, this is um, for our friends of the North. Look at you in that. Oh. <laughs> It is phenomenal to think that man is now James Bond. Mm. It's <laughs> phenomenal. Because <laughs> you were warned when you went into um, Skyfall, weren't you mm. were warned that this, this is going to change your life, Naomi? Yeah. So how has it affected your life? It hasn't really. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, like, I, I... No I, drinks? I, nothing? No, no <laughs> drinks for me. But I, I can go on the tube, the buses, sit under a poster of myself, and no one will <laughs> know me at all. <laughs> so... That's disappointing. It's a little bit disappointing. Yeah. That's a bit like a cry from the heart. Yeah. If, if you do see her out and about, <laughs> ladies, shout out, shout out her name. If you could mob her, get selfies, things like that. Just in, yeah, get strangers involved. Uh, now, Naomi, when you went for this, did you know you were going to be Money Penny, or did you think you'd be one of the Bond? No, bond I women? was asked to audition as a Bond girl for the role of, of a Bond girl. And I just went in for a laugh, to be honest, because I know that they audition, like, thousands of people all around the world, and I just thought I was one of many. I didn't really think I had a chance in hell, really, of getting it. But was your Money Penny sort of a Bond girl? No, she is Money Penny, but the idea was that I would audition for a Bond a girl, girl, and then they would revealed... be so brilliant, yes. you were Money Penny. No, then they would, ch they would tell me that the role was actually oh, for Money Penny. Oh, yeah. I see. They're messing with your yeah, mind. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> OK. Did you ever find out what your Bond girl name would have been? Um, it would have been Kiki Martin. Kiki Martin? Mm. OK. Do you, I don't know if you know how this works. Last time uh, Daniel was here, yeah. uh, yours was uh, Cock Hargreaves. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's your... Whatever you call your private area, We've and... talked about that before. Yes, <laughs> we know what you call yours. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Neddy. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and then the your grandmother's maiden name. What was yours again now? Kiki Martin. Kiki Martin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's cock Kiki. me Kiki. Kiki yeah. cock. <laughs> As oh. a child, he says, as a child, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Well, now, I don't care. I... <laughs> <laughs> Hiya. Uh, <laughs> so, Kiki Martin. Kiki Martin's a good name. Yeah. Uh, do, what would your Bond girl name be, Christoph? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it would be, um, well, we, we called it Horsey. Your horsey? Um, <laughs> uh, horsey, Horsey Mayen. Horsey Mayen? <laughs> Wow. It sounds like a cross between horseradish and mayonnaise, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have that with horsey mayonnaise. Yeah. <laughs> like, you had late-night sessions working with Phoebe, didn't you? <clears throat> uh, at the end of one day, uh, yeah, actually, we... Um, yeah, there was one moment where uh, I just... I know it's, it's Daniel's last film and trying to elevate it a as much as we possibly could, so, you know, 
trying to do the best. The one thing I hate when we're, you know, as a young actor, is going home and lying in bed and thinking, man, it could have been that much better. Mm. So I try to remove that at, you know, in any, at all costs now. So I had enough gumption to go to Daniel. I'm like, the scene I think could use a little bit more work. And I remember your face and your look. You're like, you take care of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> But, uh, no, it, we, we started to talk about it, and uh, our great producer, Barbara Broccoli, and, and Michael Wilson, you know, they actually gave us a day off. They said, you know what, let's actually work on it. And instead mm -hmm. of trying to fix it on the day while the cameras are rolling, you know, let's go into an office. We sat down with Carrie Fukunaga, our director, and this really complicated scene, we were... We were you know, trying to fix, we finally had a moment after three hours and we broke it and we got it and it mm. felt so damn good. Mm. And to that point, I stood up, Daniel stood up and, you know, he gave me a big hug and, and then he planted a kiss on my cheek. Oh, on his cheek. How tender. And at the very point, tender. It was actually uh, very tender. I a little too tender. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. Yeah. Carry on. Yeah, well, I look around the room and I said, well, Hey, man, does that make me a Bond girl? <laughs> hey. Hey, good. Oh, hello. Hey. <laughs> What's your name? Dennison. Paul Dennison. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> This is very sweet. I don't know if you guys have seen, seen this. Uh, someone posted it online, and it's by an eight-year-old boy. An eight-year-old boy wrote this, and it's a kind of his review of Bond. And through the eyes of a child, really, this, this does capture the enduring appeal of James Bond. So he wrote, Once, there was a guy named Bond, James Bond. <laughs> he was from England. <laughs> he was a very good actor in movies. He has a friend named M. James Bond goos in gun movies, and he never dies in all his movies. There are different actors. Some are not good. Some are good. Some are amazing. And at the end of the movies, there is kissy kissy parts. <laughs> I like them. That's, that's the plot. <laughs> I'm so thrilled that you're all here. We're doing a Bond special. And obviously, you're all in Skyfall. We're going to talk about that. But before we do, just very got a quick talk about the last time we saw you as Bond, uh, with Her Majesty, the Olympics. Mm -hmm. uh, like, how long was that in the planning? Um, uh, quite a long time. Uh, Danny Boyle came to visit me on set. Um, he sat me down, he told me what he wanted to do, and I walked out and said... <laughs> um, I really thought he was just pulling my leg. So, um, anyway, the whole kind of thing, um, you know, came about. Next thing I know, I'm at the palace, so... Cos you must have thought, oh, I'll agree to it, but it'll never happen. You know, you can say... Well, it. I didn't... I mean, I thought they hadn't sort of had the OK from the palace, but apparently they got that first and then asked me, so I didn't have much choice. Oh, yeah. Would, imagine if you'd turned it down. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you do some improv with the desk? She was... <laughs> yeah, yeah she, does it. she does improv every Friday night. <laughs> the um, I, she, uh, she kind of invented some stuff to do. She, said, she asked if she could maybe pretend to write a letter. But so, so she was doing something as I walked in. Oh, okay. Which was, I thought was very good. And there was a lot of talk about how grumpy she looked at the actual ceremony. <coughs> mm. <coughs> and I have a theory. Is it because she didn't understand that for continuity she'd have to wear that salmon dress again on the night? <laughs> Do you think she knew that? I don't know. I don't... <laughs> Dame Judy, were you asked to be involved in this? Because as M, it would have been... No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. I was extremely miffed. <laughs> and then I saw it all happen. I thought, there we are, in spite of us all. <laughs> <laughs> he never let on. He never said a word. Did you not say anything? Nothing. Did you? you? No, no. I don't no, speak no. English. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still go clubbing? Do you still cut a rug? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've never, ever been to a club in my life. What uh, a terrible... Yes, Judy, quite. Judy Dench. Judy Dench. Judy Dench. Judy Dench. Sorry for me. You lie like a rug. Oh, do I? Yes. <laughs> never been to a nightclub. Yes, you have. Where? I bumped into you With in you? heaven. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely true. No. Fag hag. They took us in. <laughs> they, took... <laughs> they took us in through the back door. Wouldn't they? <laughs> Story of her life. 
Oh. Look, that is the only time. Is that really the only time? Yes. Did yeah. you not have a nice night? You look like you were having fun. <laughs> yes, I think we did. <laughs> I'm, gay and I'm, I'm gay and I've never been to heaven. <laughs> I'm never getting there either, but I... <laughs> Why, that's astonishing. Why were you there, for God's sake? That's a good question, too. <laughs> <laughs> I know the answer to that as what well. Was the what was the you, you were there to see Cher. What? You were there to see Cher, the singer Cher. Oh, yes, that's right. There's <laughs> <laughs> a formula for finding out what your uh, Bond girl name would be. And what you do is you take your grandmother's maiden name. Do you know this? And your pet. No. And the first pet you've had. No, no, no that's your porn one. star. That's your porn star <laughs> name. <laughs> That's a porn star name. What? This one, this one is it's your uh, grandmother's maiden name for your surname, and then when you were a kid, the nickname you had for your genitals is your first one. <laughs> so I would have been Winky Reynolds <laughs> if I was a Bond girl. Um, uh, Judy, what would your Bond girl name be? Just leave it with me for a minute. Okay. <laughs> Bond girl name. You know you want to tell us. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you want to tell us. Cock Hargreaves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see if I... Let's see if I can some Bond girls in the audience. Let's see if I some Bond girls. <laughs> Cock Hargreaves. <laughs> yeah, Eve is better than that. Uh, <laughs> now, what would your uh, Bond name be? Um, it would be Binky Morrissey. <laughs> Binky Morrissey. Binky Morrissey. That's adorable. <laughs> You're a little binky. Uh, what would you be? Uh, Marjorie Newman. <laughs> Were you following the formula? <laughs> Marjorie. <laughs> oh. Are you guys related? She's my daughter. My mother. So. <laughs> So, you were the one who called it Marjorie, presumably? No, 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 no. No? No, no she was not. Oh, no, she was. You decided to call it Marjorie. No, a previous boyfriend I had. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying this in front of Daniel Craig! <laughs> and my father will be watching somewhere. Oh, no. We'll just keep Marjorie under wraps. <laughs> what was yours? Uh, Fanula McCarrick. <laughs> Fanula, meet Marjorie. Marjorie and Fanula. And uh, well done, all the Bond girls. Very good. Now, Lashana, here's the exciting thing. I hear from sources on this film that you were the best stunt person of all time ever. Ooh. They said that. Yeah. That's a direct quote. Well, they said it to you, didn't they? The, no, I'm taking what you said. OK. <laughs> I'm running with that. <laughs> Thank you. But running really well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I was, yeah, I, I showed up to do my thing. I'd been to the gym a couple of times, thought I'd do it. <laughs> and I was not ready, I'm not going to lie. I was not prepared for the level of work that they put the cast through for these stunts. It was ninja level. Wow. Which I'd asked them to make me. Yeah. But then I didn't realise that they were actually going to try and make me a ninja. Yeah. Now and, I'm a ninja. And what did you injure? What's a ninja? What, what did you injure? What's a ninja? <laughs> What's a ninja? What's a ninja? <laughs> well, <laughs> get me a dictionary. <laughs> this, is, this is where our, our social distancing goes wrong. <laughs> What's a ninja? <laughs> no, <that's okay>. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, did, did, you, have, did you injure anything? I didn't injure anything. No. Does it carefully and properly? <laughs> not like me. Because, uh, Daniel, one of the things you're not going to miss is the terrible toll it has taken on your body. I don't know. Uh, so I'm, I'm <laughs> sitting here in a brace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, no, it's all great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No yeah. time to die, no time to die. Yeah. What yeah. did you break in no time to die? <laughs> My ankle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you do... And the joke is, like, literally walking down a plank. I mean, not even... <laughs> wasn't even running, wasn't even doing anything action-based. I just walked down, slipped and fell over. It was oh, so cool. stupid. And over the films, what's, what's the worst injury you've had? Probably my knee, which was on um, Spectre, which was... Um, that was Dave Batista, God bless him, who is a professional wrestler. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, we were doing this scene as a fight sequence on... Um, a train in Inspector, and we we learnt this for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and, and, and you know you kind of you basically spend a week shooting it and the whole thing is that 
And Dave was being really great with me, but he's a big, big guy, and I forget how big he is. And he was sort of throwing me against this wall, and he was being gentle. Because, you know, <laughs> so he should. It's pretend. <laughs> um, and... I just said, Dave, Dave, mate, go on, it's all right, come on, you can chuck me a bit, don't worry about it, it's fine, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, so we did. <laughs> I ended up on the wall, but my knee was sort of over here somewhere. <laughs> and I sort of went, oh, God! <laughs> like, and it went, and I knew, and it's horrible, because if anybody's had an injury, they kind of, you know, kind of that kind of injury, you just know in your head that something's really wrong. And, God bless him. I, I, I was out, and then we went back and we refilmed it, and I had to film it with a brace on, and we kind of... And it was very... It was a struggle to do it. But I got... I broke his nose. Oh. Ooh. What? Um, Don't mess with the Craig. I, well, <laughs> I didn't do it deliberately. Clearly, it was like a... It was a mistake. And it was so like... I mean, like I said, he's a big guy. He's a professional wrestler. You, you really wouldn't mess with him. And I threw this punch. I hit him on the nose, and I heard this crack. And I went, Oh, God, no, and ran away. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to come after <laughs> <laughs> And he was so sweet. And he literally did something like this. He went, kind of went, ah, it's fine. No! Oh. I mean, he's a lot tougher than I am. I'll point to you. Day, this is amazing, the amount of money you guys raised. There was that uh, auction uh, for various charities <laughs> of all the Bond paraphernalia and Bond mementos. Uh, the Aston Martin sold for 241000 uh, This is the model. There's a little... Uh, that went for £61,000. Mm. I mean, it's amazing, mm. the, the thing. A watch of yours, 157000 mm -hmm. And, uh, Dave Judy, you were in charge of one of the star lots, were you not? I was. I was able... They said, would you bang the gavel on Daniel's pants? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, on... Yes, on, on the rocks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ow! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's for charity. <laughs> <laughs> and they were estimated, I think, between three and five thousand pounds. And I think they went for thirty-five thousand oh. pounds. I got forty-four thousand. Oh, forty-four. Yeah. yeah. Was it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Slightly yeah. soiled. <laughs> 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 Was it your idea to reference the <laughs> Ursula Andress thinking me out of the sea? Or was it in the script? It happened by accident, really. I mean, the, the blue... Those things came up in there. <laughs> so, where we were filming, I was, I, I was supposed to be swimming across, you know, and I was supposed to sort of stand up and sort of look around. But the water was, you know, it's like in some places where the water just stays at this depth for about yes. a mile. Yes. So I kind of swam along, like, <laughs> kind of pretending to swim, and then stood up and was there, and that's how the shot happened. So it was by accident more than anything. Because, I mean, uh, you know, I can see why they asked you to take your shirt off, and you're very generous with your body in, in this new, this new mo... <laughs> in Skyfall, the laundry bill's very low. Your... <laughs> your shirt is a lot. But Daniel Craig, we turn to you. <laughs> because you started very young as well. Yes. <laughs> no, you were in school, you were the National Youth Theatre. Now, when did you do Panto? How old were you when you did Panto? Um, 15, 14. 15, 14. Yeah. Now, annoyingly, we only have a still. But it's still a quality picture. It's still a quality still. This is Daniel Craig. Uh, see if you can spot which one he is. Uh, he is one of the ugly sisters <laughs> in Cinderella. Now, can we zoom in on the faces? Right or left, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> left. <laughs> and we, I, I, do you know who that is? Uh, I think it's... Um, Richard Kelly. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> A long time ago. <laughs> Richard Kelly. Richard Kelly! Yeah, Richard Kelly. Yay! Yeah. He's here tonight. No, he's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where was that? At school. A school production of Cinderella. You really went for it, didn't you? That's my career right there. <laughs> <laughs> so I sort of gonna... At the end of Spectre, I was a bit down on everything. As, um, and <laughs> I, I thought that was it. And I thought I was just... And I, I'm really, really happy that I was given the opportunity to come back and do this, because I think we've sort of wrapped up a lot of the stories and, 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 and you know, just a chance to come and do one more, which is just yeah. wonderful. And does it feel like, you know, is it sad or is it kind of a celebrate? Is it kind of like, wow, I did an amazing thing it's, and I'm happy, and, or are you kind of thinking, oh, shame? It's, um, it's, a, it's everything, I think. Um, and and I, I, it's been... 
close to 16 years of my life, and, and it's felt... It's been incredible to do these films, and not least of all to work with people like this. To Bond movies don't get made very often. We, we know this, it's rare air, yeah. and to have the opportunity to make these films has been um, one of the it's the biggest thing in my professional career, clearly, but one of the biggest things in my life. Um, and it's very emotional. It's it's um, I, 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 I'm, I'm glad I'm sort of ending it on my own terms, which is really. I'm grateful to the producers for allowing me to do that. Um, but I shall miss it. I mean, I won't... I mean, I'll probably be incredibly bitter when the new person takes <laughs> over. <laughs> I have to say, I'm happy for you, but I'm sad for us, because, genuinely, you have been a fantastic Bond. I mean, so, I'm so... Very very Thank you. Uh, Daniel, you don't... You don't get asked to do things, and people don't shout things at you, but what? people you are given... A particular thing, a lot. You know what's happening now is that your producers probably kind of fit, set me up with this question, and I can't remember what it is. <laughs> well, <laughs> apparently, <'Cause I> can't, <laughs> apparently, apparently, <laughs> and actually, actually, if the answer to this question is true, it explains a lot about your memory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean vodka martini? Yes. Yes, thank you. Oh, I'm do that again now. No. Um, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I, you know, I'll, I'll be... Sometimes I'll meet a journalist, uh, or used to meet journalists in a bar, but I'll go to somewhere, you know, like in a bar and have, meet someone to have an interview or do something like that. Ten o'clock in the morning, a vodka martini will turn up. And, you know, I mean, sometimes I'll have a sip, but, you know, it's like, it's like, it's like oh, thanks, great. It's a bit early. <laughs> um, so maybe that'll stop. But uh, I, I love a vodka martini, though. It's a very... It's a good drink. <laughs>